Jim Emter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with their closing grain and livestock comments for October 19th, 2016. Corn market today up three to four cents. Soybeans up eight to nine. Wheat market up one to three. So kind of a reversal from yesterday. Market tries to stand up here a little bit. Struggling still with the same resistance areas we've been looking at. Uh, just a matter of whether we can extend maybe a little bit more. Corn between 360 and 373. Beans between 980 and $10. And this wheat market up around 545, 550. All pretty stiff resistance in our opinion here. And we still think we've got some bear attitudes coming back into this market here as we work deeper towards December uh, and beyond. So kind of pay attention here, watch South American weather. Those are really the main tangents. Look for these upper price counts to kind of come to fruition here over the next week or two, and then some potential selling pressure as we work past harvest here. As we look to the feeder cattle market, down 260 to 320. Live cattle down 172 and a half to 217 and a half. Hog market steady to down 30. Uh, on feed report here, along with the cold storage on Friday, forecast for the on feed. On feed at 101.3, placements at 104, and marketing's at 106 are the expectations coming in. Uh, but uh, weaker cutouts and just uncertainty over cash is really putting pressure on these markets. We're getting heavyweight cattle around in very eer eerily similar type feeling to what we had last December when the cash market kind of unraveled. And that's what I think we're seeing before our very eyes here. Uh, we may have found support, but we just can't get up from it. And that's a problem for both cattle and hogs. Cutout there and hogs too, also weak. So just an overall weak feeling in the meat sector. Um, while we've got some stability, it's just tough to find a reason that we're going to accelerate too much to the top side right now. This has been Jim Emter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation.